欢迎收看《神秘文怪事》。大家好，我是团长。没有订阅的朋友，请按下订阅按钮，谢谢大家。加入我们优秀神秘文怪事团，拜托大家用力按下订阅，达到一千订阅。大家可以留言告诉我。最近有一部很夯的影集《三体》，内容提到了外星文明入侵地球，但这或许不只是影集情节，因为据传在现实生活当中，在好几十年前就曾经爆发过人类跟外星人首次开战，甚至还留下了证据。有一位美国地质工程师爆料，在进行任务的时候，在地下基地发现了神秘洞穴，接着还亲眼看见外星人双方开始交战。他遭到外星人用蓝色光束攻击，留在身上的伤口就是最好的证明。他的左手手指几乎全被烧毁，在胸口还有一道非常明显的痕迹，还有其他惊人爆料。他拿出了一张神秘的照片，在这里头就拍下了外星人，而且这个外星人也秘密的为美国军方工作。他的外表长得就跟人类一样。不过每只手有六根手指，还有超高智商，还能流利讲一百种语言，而且已经四百九十岁，甚至外星人还跟美国达成了一项不能公开的秘密协议，而且还有一个神秘基地。They are coming. Who are they? That's the question. No. 当地球面临外星生命的威胁，人类又该如何生存？人们未知的外星生命即将来临，杰出的科学家再加上锲而不舍的景泰。联手努力化解人类史上最大的危机。外星生命准备来到地球，这些内容恐怕不只是影集情节，因为相传在现实生活当中，地球上早就存在外星人的基地，甚至人类跟外星人早在好几十年前就曾经爆发过第一次交锋。We're in Dulce, New Mexico, about 200 miles away from Albuquerque. Our goal is to locate a secret underground base where the government reportedly has been housing aliens and carrying out strange experiments. 西基地在一个偏僻、荒凉，而且人口非常少的地方在。这地下到底藏着什么样不可思议的秘密？据说大家看不见的那个巨大秘密空间里头，住住大量的外星种族。他们与美国政府达成了秘密协定，为美国人提供高科技知识作为交换。美国政府掩盖他们的存在，并允许他们定期绑架人类进行实验。难道说外星生命早就已经来到地球？这到底只是传说还是真是此事？在这位美国工程师的身上，或许就留下了证据。All about the alien agenda. I'll explain that in a few minutes. The large alien greys had been encamped there for as best as believed possible about four or five hundred years. Have been one of their internal bases. 他叫做菲尔斯奈德。是一名美国地质工程师，在一场演讲当中，他谈到了自己在一九七九年的时候，亲身经历过一场跟外星人的冲突。他当时参与的是到西基地附近，洛斯阿拉莫斯的一个地下生物实验室的建设。他到西基地是同一座山脉，而在这个建设工地，还非常奇怪的，出扎了一支美国绿色贝雷帽的军队。When I saw green beret and black beret people in camp inside of our geologist camp, I knew something was up. The gig was up. 当时接到这次的任务，原本以为是跟以往的工程一样，但是诡异的地方，这回在施工处，竟然有特种部队士兵驻扎。光从这点来看，这一切似乎不太单纯。而且据说这些特种部队的人数，甚至远远超过施工的人。即便心里开始有些怀疑，不过工程还是得持续进行。We built. We were in the process of the early stages of building. We drilled four large tunnel-like holes. Some of them ran two and a half miles under the surface. Number the early at that time number the original wells or drilling machines that were used were were the rate of up two miles a day. It was fairly rapid. The equipment kept coming up broken. So we wanted to go down. We wanted to send somebody down there, a human observer or human observers in this case, to find out what was going on. 后来他们在地面上炸出了巨大的空洞，进入地下以后一看不得了，相当惊人。发现原来在这个地方，原本就已经存在一个巨大的洞穴，里面的空气非常新鲜，感觉起来就像是有人在这里长期居住。但是菲尔斯奈德依旧跟同事，还有随行士兵进入这个洞穴，他们即将要对里面进行进一步的探索。不过没想到却引来此生最震惊的状态。In this process, I was lowered down the basket of one of these holes. And about from me to this elderly woman here in the front was sitting a seven-foot-tall alien gray. The stench was worse than the worst garbage can you can imagine. The person was at, or the entity was absolutely horrible. I didn't waste any time to reach for my pistol at that time as an engineer. I didn't have time to carry all the. 恐怕没有人能够想象
迎面而来的，竟然是从未见过的外星生命，甚至还爆发了人类跟外星人的第一次开战。菲尔斯奈德立刻拿出手枪，并且杀死了其中两个，但是在一片混乱之中，突然出现了蓝色的光体。One of them did this. I all I remember is that he just kind of waved his hand in front of his chest, and the next thing I know, this blue beam hit me and just literally opened me up like a fish, and burnt burnt my fingers right off of me, and some form of electrical force because of the kind of like hit being hit by a lightning bolt burnt all my toenails off of me, crispy crittered my left foot. Burnt the shoe right off of me. When he came to, he found himself being bundled into the crane basket by the green beret, who then turned and engaged more of the creatures as the basket began to ascend without him. Upon his return to the surface, the doctors who treated Schneider found severe damage to both his left hand and foot. When he woke up, he was lying in the hospital. His body was not the same as before, because in this fight, he suffered three hands. 而且他的胸口也被严重的烧伤，留下那一道非常明显的痕迹。曾经跟外星人发生一役战争，这样的证据就留在菲尔斯奈德身上。Green berets, black berets, crack troops lost their lives because the government, our United States government, lied, did not tell us anything about the alien threat. There's a war underneath there, and I'm talking dead serious. 菲尔斯奈德在演讲上怒斥美国政府掩盖外星人存在的事实，甚至他还拿出了一张照片，而且仔细看看照片中的男生，据说他是外星生命。I have a picture of one of the aliens been working for the United States Pentagon for the last 58 years. His name is Val Val Valiant Four. He's right. 照片里的这个男生索尔，他为美国军方工作，而仔细看看他的长相，其实跟人类长得一模一样，光看外表根本无法发现他就是外星人。He basically hasn't changed. He lives for 490 years. Is what he says his lifespan is. He is supposedly a semi-benevolent. He's a human-looking type person. He has six fingers and six toes, and he's got one oversized heart, one lung, giant lung. His blood vessels are bigger. He's got copper oxide for blood, similar to an octopus. His brain capacity 300 centimeters greater than ours. He has a thinking capacity IQ. If you were to measure, be totally off the scale, be about a 1,200 IQ. 超过人类智商等级，索尔还能流利的讲一百种语言。在演讲上，菲尔斯奈德对注视人，揭开这惊人的外星秘密。诡异的是，在一九九六年的一月份，菲尔斯奈德被发现，竟然在自己的公寓离奇死亡，而且被软胶缠绕，身上还有被殴打虐待的痕迹。但是对于菲尔斯奈德的死亡，警方调查后宣称他死于轻生，让人无法理解。这一切更走向了阴谋论。更多人认为他是被轻生。由于菲尔之前的巡回演讲多次提及可能会发生意外，他的离世也引起了许多媒体的关注。政府方面则不得不发表官方的说法。苏菲尔本身是一个患有严重精神分裂症的病人，他所叙述的有关外星生物的言论，全部都是妄想。而他本人也从未为军方工作过。真的如此吗？官方的说法民众可不买单。外界始终认为，菲尔斯奈德掀起一副让世人看的伤疤。就是那一场人类跟外星人战争最好的证明，而且除了菲尔斯奈德，还有一位军事摄影师托马斯卡斯特罗也目睹道西基地的秘密。Castello was the first person to show us the different floors of Dulce Base and what they were used for. Level one is security and communications. Level two is human staff and housing. Level three is executive offices and labs. Level four is mind control experiments. Level five is alien housing. Level six is genetic experiments and the zoo, and level seven is cryogenics and cold storage. 据说在道西基地有三十七种外星人，主要以灰人、蜥蜴人为主。而这里的实验室可不是一般人想象。据说这个神秘实验室是外星人为了研究人类基因特别打造，在里面有许多试验品被关在笼子里，甚至还有一些被注入特殊基因的人类变成畸形的兽人。但把这些惊人秘密公诸于世之后的几年，托马斯开始过着亡命之徒的生活。从一个国家再到另一个国家，他不断在世界各地进行演讲，是人们揭露道西基地的存在。但是在二零零九年，传闻托马斯在中美洲的哥斯大黎加意外的伤亡，这场意外让人回想起菲尔斯奈的死状凄惨，却被认定是轻生。庞福只要把道西基地的秘密说出来，让世人知道外星生命在地球的事情，就会面临这样的意外，也让整体世界更加的诡异。
，或许美国跟外星文明的接触，谁都不能说出来的秘密，更是官方不愿意被世人发现的最高层。希望您会喜欢今天主题，也欢迎在下方留言分享你对这些的看法。大家帮我按赞、订阅、开小铃铛，谢谢，感谢收看，下次再见。